So this is the moment the police officer drives forward. He hits the man in the white t-shirt and drives into the man with the check shirt. Who then steps on his rear wheel being pushed over by a moving vehicle. It's at this point Blackshirt sees, so comes over as perhaps a show of solidarity. His bike's on his right, his left hand is on his left handlebar. So there we go again. His bike is on his right, his body is touching the bonnet. So he steps in. But now we can't see actually what's happening because he's a big guy in the way. So as you can see, he's stood right next to the bonnet. His left hand is still on the handlebar and he's casting a shadow on the bonnet. Now it's very hard to tell when the car starts moving again. It could be now, we can't tell. You can't tell the wheels and the pan would offset any movement of the car. So we can see Blackshirt's head again. He's still close to the car. We don't know what he's doing because check shirt is blocking the way. But it appears he's let go of his handlebar because so he has no control over the front of the bike and the front of the bike is already underneath the vehicle. And we see a black spot here. And we see the handlebar here. So he's, there is no way that this man can be pushing the front of the bike underneath the car. So what happens to his leg here? It's still there, then it's gone. What is he doing? We, we, we don't know because the check shirt is still in the way. But we do know that the front of the bike is already under the car. That's under the car. The bonnet, or the bumper rather, is pushing on the front fork. And there's no resistance because he's let go of the front of the bike. So then the bike continues to fall. And we see both handlebars. There's no force on the front of the bike from Blackshirt. And we can't actually tell, see what he's doing because check shirt is still in the way. So now the bike is almost fully on the floor. So again, he's not holding the front of the bike. The handles, we can see them, there's no arms across. The front of the bike and now the back of the bike is fully under the car. The rear of the bike is outside the ASL right now. Uh, and as we move forward, still outside, something is either pulling the bike down the road, is it black shirt, or is the driver shoving the bike? At this moment, does the black shirt get really annoyed and fu in an act of futility resist the pushing of the bike? Possibly. But it's clear the driver is moving. The bumper is now in the ASL. I'll rewind. Hard to tell but the car is moving away from the ASL. Look at where the ASL is. So the driver is already pushing over the bike before There you go. 
He's let go of the seat. He grabs the seat. So the bike was being pushed by the car into the ASL and then the black shirt re grabs a hold of the nearest thing and then maybe he starts pushing, maybe he doesn't, but that's totally point irrelevant at this point. And then the car, co the police officer stops, and then there's a stupid, petulant, meaningless kick. Just, just nothing, barely a kick. And then the and then, the police officer drives into multiple people and then away. Still going. Then he drives through a red light, over the bike, and away.